period of time doing nothing else and only then you can concentrate and write or do something. How many of you are like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid I'm like that. How many of you are like this? Uh? You type your case, type your case, uh, give it as a word document on your desktop, then go out for lunch, come back later, type your case, then student come in, then student goes up, then you type your case, then go class, then after class you come back, type, then type. You can only read the goodies. Who doesn't mind doing this? You can get interrupted. One, 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 two. Good, good, good for you, good for you. Okay. I wish I could be like that. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll be more productive. Maybe I can write more cases that week. Okay. So this was the advice of the Harvard professor. He said, if you're so busy, then this is the next best thing. Create a word document, desktop icon. Then whenever you're free, just go back and just type a few words, type a few words. So I, I think it's very practical, very, very practical for, for us busy people. Uh, and then the reason why I'm uh, squeezing two matters into Today is because I know that we are all busy people. Maybe it's better if you all come and then you do us in one store, you come for one day, but you, you, you can you can take back two teaching methods. If you cannot do one teaching method because you have no time, never mind. Take for one more lab. Okay? And this is the one. Creating problem solving, right? All you need to do as instructors is this go through it at least once yourself. So that you are able to mark a student's assignment. If you don't, if you want to mark a student's assignment, but you haven't gone through creating problem solving yourself, then it's difficult to come and to justify your Awarding of marks to your students. Okay. Pretty problem solving, right? I didn't teach my students how to do it. I just gave them whatever I've given you. I told my students, okay, maximum three in a group. Take my book, pretty problem solving, and uh, these are my assignments for you. Oh, where is the assignment? Yeah. In part three, B, you can see the assignment. Uh, <clears throat> but maximum, I recommend is three, maximum three. Then maybe 
think one and three, you get you get sleeping members. Okay, so yeah, so that's probably how I would grade them. But it's up to you how you want to grade them, really not to you. Okay, go hard and fast go. Okay. Up to here, any questions so far? No? Have you got any questions before I go? Okay. So just remember for creative problem solving, you can just uh, give them what I gave you. Okay, here, here's creative problem solving. Okay, and here's the assignment. Ah, uh, okay. My students, foundation students, younger than your students, they managed to do it. Three in a group, they got enough social support. It is not difficult to understand. Okay? Uh, also, I think. Okay? Then, if my students can do it, I believe your students should have no problems. Just make sure you get marks okay? just to motivate them. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Okay, so you have already assignment already, provided you have gone through this one round uh, today for yourself, then you are ready to. Uh, give this to your student as a new teaching method and then for foundation lectures you score one already uh, for your KPI okay? mm -hmm. foundation lectures supposed to have supposed to practice two teaching methods in one year so this one of them okay? only to teach your students, not only to teach okay? and then of course uh, I also have uh, peer evaluation so at the end of the assignment right I think somewhere in week 12 the students and to come back and uh, uh, present to each other in the very same way that you will do afterwards. You will form smaller groups, then you have simultaneous presentations going on. And I did this during my two hour session. And uh, uh, so the questions I, I gave my students please assess the presenter. Okay? What happens is, if one group has three people, okay? just that you're going to you number yourself one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, for example. Okay? So afterwards, right, assuming he has got, uh, I don't know how many, or oh, one, two, three, maybe got two groups already. So all the number ones, so all the number ones, maybe Ling is number one, Benedict is number one, Roy is number one, all the number ones will come here. Okay? If, if this assignment belongs to Ling's group, Ling has to present. Okay? Then let's say here's, here's assignment number two, okay, assignment number two. Okay? Uh, number two, all number two starts, so Bojan has to come, Kavita has to come, Pakash has to come, all the number two come here. If this belongs to uh, Kavita's group, Kavita will have to present. Then you just migrate, 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 uh, simultaneous group presentation. Like this, you know, every member cannot sleep. Every member has to know what is going on. Otherwise, their friends are going to break him or her fully okay, in the peer evaluation. And I have another item for the group members to evaluate. How much, how, how would you rank your friend in terms of contribution, your group member? How, how, how well did your friend contribute? So I, I recommend keeping the numbers low to about three. This is based on my feedback from the students. Uh, okay? My students in the past they serve four or five hours uh, for some members that uh, they don't do anything. So based on what was called a mini project, uh, that's something that's something totally different. So based on that feedback, I decided to limit it to three. So but that once again it's up to you. Uh, okay. Um really problem solving. Okay. Now uh, it's my uh, first time doing it at Utah, trying to squeeze creative problem solving into 10 stages. Uh, sorry, 5 stages times 2. 10 places in uh, less than 2 hours. Uh, okay? Yeah. So, will, will we be able to finish it today? I do not know. It depends on you and your, and your partner. partner. Okay? What I'll do is I'll give you and I'll just walk you through just one tool per phase. Okay? Just one tool per phase. And afterwards, when you do your group work, don't need to be too detailed, okay? Just go through as many phases as you can. Whether or not we finish, that one you can always uh, finish at home. Okay? I just want to give you something that you can straight away use in your classroom. 